The bells grew louder, voices too. I circled back to the other side of the ring and saw straw hats strewn with flowers emerge from the hillocks. I hid, biding my time, as I watched the Morris men gather at the ring's eastern edge. All white, with bright red sashes, bells sewn into their boots and trousers, hats and vests studded with buttons and spiked with feathers. They were at the ring to dance in the May, to welcome the summer atop the downs, where it might first arrive, as if sprinkled from above. There were so many of them, and so few of us, civilians, I mean, audience. It was mist raining and chilly. It was very early in the morning. Almost no one was watching. By earthly standards, not a great gig. But they began to dance, and I knew this had nothing to do with us. They stepped in the same patterns in which bearded men had stepped a century before them, maybe in the same place. Morris won't make the rains or the harvest come. No child will flourish because of this dance. God knows no fertility will be enhanced. It is a checkpoint, a diary entry written onto the earth at Shanktonbury with footsteps, like lines accrued on a face. That, that is tradition. That is its sole purpose, to be enacted, and ever so. (laughs) 